yo what is going on youtube viewers man welcome to my beginning stages of my gaming setup let's just jump straight into it so we just get this one piece over here and right now we got the dual sense controller sitting on a rechargeable station over here right next to the laptop you know, got some HyperX headphones over there then you got the PS4 over here which will be replaced by the PS5 as you can see I got the course going through the table which is pretty nice I like this table for that reason but one of the cons is that it picks up fingerprints very badly but if you want this table I'll leave the link below and here I have the LG 48 inch OLED display very nice I use it as my monitor and down here I have the KLIM wireless keyboard to go along with the Logitech Pro 305 and then we got RGB lights only on the keyboard uh, I got my remote sitting up here it's very nice I like everything to be wireless for sure I hate cords um, and also the mat came with the table as well then I have a Fifine mic right there and then I have my chair that I got from Amazon it's a leather chair um, I'll leave the link below if you want that as well. It's pretty nice. The only thing about it is that I sweat a lot in leather chairs, so I might just change it. Right here, I have this brick wall. Um, I'm planning on putting a couch right there and hanging some things up there. So I plan on decorating it pretty nice. And over here, I wanted to show you guys my Urbitron HX arm that I got the LG 48 inch sitting on it's pretty nice and one thing about this tv is that you can pull it up down move it to the side extend it out yeah, as you can see it's all it's facing all the way up to the ceiling right there so i can kind of stand up and play games if i wanted to or i can bring it down some more uh, lift it up it's pretty it's a pretty nice arm and it's very 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 useful but for me, I'm not going to adjust it that much. I'm going to leave it pretty much how I had it uh, at the beginning of the video. Um, unless, I don't know, you never know what happens uh, or, you know, how you want to play it or who comes over. And, you know, if I have the couch over by the brick wall, I might turn it to the side for everybody to see. So it's pretty nice. And here is my PC. I only have a GeForce 980 Ti inside of here, but I plan on updating to a 3080. Um, I just updated a couple things. Uh, I put uh, 32 gigs of RAM in there, Cos Air, and um, I also added the 4K capture card, uh, SSD, and um, what else did I put in there? Um, oh, a Wi-Fi card that has Bluetooth. Uh, this was gifted by a friend as well, man. Shout out to Nick. Be the reason why I'm in the PC gaming world right now, and the reason I don't have to go get a Xbox console. <laughs> now, with having this big 48-inch OLED, I tend to kick back and lean back in my chair, uh, pulling my feet up and things like that. Um, also, like when I'm on the PC, you know, I kind of got to extend back sometimes because it's a lot of pixels and a lot of brightness to the TV just straight in your face and everything is so clear um, if you was watching a video I was making about um, Demon Souls when the spider was shooting the lights at me yeah, it was just straight in my face but I, I think it's gonna make gaming uh, more incredible or more of an incredible experience um, looking at it in 4k so I was just editing a video on here. Um, go check that out. Um, I'm playing Visage, but I wanted to show you guys the LG uh, C10 a little bit more because I love multitasking on this monitor. Um, it's so cool that you know you can watch TV and search the internet and go back and forth between the PC and all the smart features that this TV have. Um, so yeah, you know, picking up the remote and, and just going to Hulu and or YouTube on the TV and you know other little things they have and apps it has, um, and then also you know just just going back to uh, the internet and being able to you know do a lot of things that way. It just makes it's like the best of both worlds, you know. Um, 
you know, when you just have a monitor, you just you just have that PC, and of course, you can do everything on your PC monitor. Um, but when you have a TV as your monitor, it's almost it's 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 such a different experience because you can just sit back and and, and watch your favorite shows and 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 watch TV, like I said, and and things like that, and just switch right back to PC and and, and do whatever you want to do with the PC, you know, and play your games. So definitely want to show you guys that it's a very beautiful OLED screen, man. Um, if you're thinking about picking it up, I'll say go for it. Uh, man, you won't regret it. The last thing I want to show you guys is how my game is set up look in the dark. Um, I don't have that much colors, but I plan on getting some more RGB lights and having everything lit up. Uh, I don't play games in the in the dark right now because of that reason, because you won't be able to see me. But once I get everything all lit up in here, I'm pretty sure it's going to look nice. But it definitely looked fantastic right now. So that was it for this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed that look. Like I said, it's just the beginning stages, so I plan to hook everything up. This whole little area I have should be uh, just one nice-looking gaming area. It's, like I said, it's going to be lit up with RGB. You know, we're going to add some couches. But other, other than that couch right there, but yeah, uh, couch, plants, you know, all that. But, um... If you guys like this video, man, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know how you feel about everything. And if you want any of these items I show, I'm going to list it below so you can grab it. But uh, other than that, it's your boy Kari, and I'm out.